We're here at the 2023 Arnold Classic South America in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I'm here with this champion here. What's your name and where are you from? Tori Jones from Canada. So Tori just got done competing in the pro wheelchair for the first time in history here in South America. How does that make you feel? Uh, good. Came second. Didn't kind of get what I was coming for, but hey, that's the name of the game. Tori just got done competing a couple months ago and at the Arnold Classic in America and now he got second. How does that make you feel being runner up back to back Arnold's? <laughs> Let's... Well, it kind of makes me the first loser. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I just go to back to the drawing board, put on some size and come back bigger and stronger. And George's a phenomenal athlete and even like his condition. When I see him, I see him as a future Mr. Olympia. And I've told him this and that's my God on his opinion. Today you competed in front of so many people this is one of the biggest crowds i believe that i've ever seen how did that make you feel competing in front of all those people i to be completely honest i didn't even see them once you kind of get on the stage you just kind of get in your zone and do your thing and you know you just kind of go with it i just play my game out and hope for the best we're all tired it's late he's here doing the interview and then a lot of people seem that he's in a wheelchair so the biggest question is like why is he in a wheelchair? Tell the people in Brazil, why are you in a wheelchair? What happened? Uh, back in 2019, I was in a single car accident that ended up breaking my T12 and leaving me a paraplegic. So a lot of people are watching this. They see that you're in a wheelchair, that you do it. So what are some encouraging words that you could tell them that if you can do it, they can do it too? Uh, pretty much just, you know, just because you're in a chair and you can't walk, more or less. It's Life's not over stick to your game man like you know you still got to keep going about life and find things that still work for you fortunately for me i uh bodybuilded before my accident and then you know we got the wheelchair class so you know i was jumping right in there yeah you know and you know it's amazing to see you and the others and you you make these decisions to come and back home you got a little baby so tell the little tell the people like What's waiting on you back home? Well, I know there's this little mouthpiece named Woody Belfour that uh, always kind of falls behind me in the placing, so I don't really see him that often. But uh, back home, I got a beautiful wife and kids. <laughs> I, I was talking about the other little little baby that you got at your house. Yeah, yeah, I got a new puppy waiting for me when I get home. Not the other Canadian puppy. <laughs> So what type of breed is that? You show me pictures of it, or when you of your puppy. What type of breed is it? Uh, he's a little XL bully. We currently got one named King, and the little guy's now is Ace. You were supposed to get him after Brazil, but all of a sudden, what happened? Well, I had him being delivered to my house, obviously. Um, and yeah, I just had to come down here and compete. So my wife had to stay back and get the puppy, which, you know, she's not too upset about. <laughs> so it worked out. That's amazing. Is there like any besides your, I mean, your wife, who else do you want to give a shout out and, you know, cause you got a support system back home. Who do you want to thank? Uh, pretty much just like, you know, like my friends, family, they're always there. Cheer me on, support me, like, you know, from all angles. Gold's Jim Kamloops, you know, I've been training there for plenty of years. Yeah. Like my, just my hometown, you know, they're behind me the whole time and it's just positive people around me and it's great. It's amazing. And Tori, it's an honor for you to be here to make history with the other pros. And I commend you for everything you've done over the years. And, you know, you're going to keep up. And I believe that, mark my word, one day you're going to see Tori as a future Mr. Olympia. You can bet your ass. <laughs> I give a big shout out to the NPC Worldwide as well as the IFPB Professional League. Without you, none of this would be possible. As well as Tamer with Muscle Contest International as well as Anna, who's behind the Arnold Sports Festival here in South America. Thank you guys for everything.